Wow, Meg, so many choices. Yeah, it is a state college with an incredibly offensive Native American mascot. <gasps> oh, look, you can go to Oral Roberts. Oh, and there's Anal Roberts. Yeah, boy, that is a tough, tough place to get into, Lois. You know, I always thought she was going to be one of those ladies who wears a jean jacket and hangs out at the bar in a chain restaurant. Hey, you know you can get a slice of pineapple in your burger here. This one's on me. Merry Christmas, Meg. Sophomore year, she was molested by the janitor. Does that help? <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I believe they're called custodians. Green Mountain College? Oh, my God, that's my first choice. Can one of you guys take me up there? <laughs> I'd be happy to take you, Meg. We now return to Extreme Makeover, Bethany Frankel edition. Put that bus back! Hey, can you guys turn that down? I'm trying to read. Oh, shut up, Ryan. We were here first. Yes, you do. You have that wicker basket in the laundry room with the frayed bath mat in it. Hey, keep it down. Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. Well, I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. Ah, this is actually very pleasant. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 I, I don't want any trouble. Well, you in the wrong place if you ain't looking for trouble, boy. Oh, you don't like smell, huh? Well, sniff on this! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tire dump right in my nose! <laughs> Brian, why are you doing this? No! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I can't see! I'm blind! <laughs> <laughs> Brian got sprayed by a skunk. No, not against the wall. You're going to scare off the cockroaches. Peter, please tell me this is covered by our insurance. Sorry, Lois. It doesn't cover acts of dog. Hey, guys, I, I think the tomato juice is really working, don't you? No. You smell like my six-foot-tall German girlfriend. Well, I don't know what else to do. Outside? Lois, I'm an inside dog. I'm an inside dog. I'm sorry, Brian, but you stink. I'll take smelling good over walking good any day. <laughs> Morning, Brian. Ew, you still really stink. Yeah, you smell like the meatball sub I left under the couch. I I'll tell you where there definitely aren't any meatball subs. The side pocket of my golf bag. No, I was so cold, and you have no idea how many terrifying things there are out here in the dark. My nephew, Scrappy Brian, didn't even make it through the night. I don't know, Scrappy Brian. Might be better just to stay put. I'm not afraid. Let me get him. Let me get him. Damn it. I told my sister this wasn't a good weekend. Hey, Bri. How's it going out there? Oh, boy, I need this cold air. They got the heat cranked up so high in here, Lois is walking around without a shirt. Nope, you'll stink it up. Also, since you've been out there, I've stopped sneezing, so this might be permanent. All I have is a steak, but that belongs to Rupert. Can I have it? Mm, I don't know. That's a question for Rupert. You'll have to ask him. Come on, Stewie. I'm starving. Good Lord, Brian, get a hold of yourself. You're in a suburban yard. What kind of dog can't live outside? I'm a disgrace to my species. Like that gumball machine traffic cop. Oh, I think we're getting close here. Meg, what are you doing? Just letting the wind wave my hand. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm flying. Plus, it tickles. That's stupid. Hey! <laughs> the wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. That's all right. I can regenerate. <laughs> Come on, Brian, you can find your own food. Every animal finds its prey. Dude, check it out! <laughs> Holy crap, I'm so much faster on all fours. I feel like a dude who just touched his first vagina. Hey. Pound it. Cool baby. Peter, what are you doing? I'm watching this awesome show, Brian. See, they took all these colors, and they're making them all live together in a beach house. Peter, that's just a channel that's gone off the air. Peter, for God's sake, did you eat this entire roll of raw cookie dough? Oh, was that what that was? I thought it was a raisin sausage. Calm down. People make mistakes. Just look at the original design for the first hybrid car. Is it the rapist sign? Yes, it is the rapist sign. I quit. So, as you can see, our quarterly output is up one and a half percent. You do everything gross. <laughs> Rather be home doing dramatic garage door reveals. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel right. Oh, man, I think that cookie dough is fighting that taco I found in the parking lot. 
And now, 23 minutes of silence for the 23 workers who drown in the vats. You don't have to, Griffin. Let it out. That's what we're here for. This was supposed to be 23 minutes of silence, and there's kind of a lot of conversation going on. Yeah! Trick or treat for UNICEF. Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake. Oh. Holiday party. Whoa. Oh. Company picnic. Oh. Secret set. Oh. Carpool info. Oh. Man, now everyone's gonna remember me for this. I wanted to be remembered for my achievement in film. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you're all here because you heard the news. Well, fine. Peter. No, no, Lois. Well, let's get it all out. I'm sure you also heard that someone walked into my office while I was sucking on my own. Peter, we're not here because of any of that. Okay, I know what this is about. Somebody saw me holding hands with a guy at Quiznos this morning. All right. And was I involved in. Dad, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand I've made hundreds of deadly enemies by shouting racial taunts up at the jailhouse windows. Oh, and another thing raise your hand if you think ducks are magic. Peter, your mother is dead. She had a stroke this afternoon and. She died. Peter, it's true. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. All right, well, I'm going to go confuse everyone on Facebook with a so sad, terrible day status and nothing more. Your mother was a good woman, Peter. Thanks, Lois. I just, I just can't believe she's really gone. Thank you for coming, everyone. We're here to celebrate the life of Thelma Griffin. Here to say a few words about Thelma is her son, Peter. Ordinary society for putting mittens down so quickly. Yeah, just, just go ahead and toss it in there. Probably, probably just stuff it in by the feet. Is anyone else here watching Revolution and wanting to talk about it after this? No, 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 I'm not caught up. I'm not caught up. Oh, Peter, look, your mom's old photo albums. Ah, oh, look at your little baby footprint. Yeah, my mom took my footprint every single year. Oh, hello. You must be Cocoon. We don't have any rocks to make you stronger here, but welcome. <laughs> you must be Peter. I'm Evelyn, a friend of your mother's. I know it's tough what you're going through. You're where I was 17 years ago when I lost my husband, Walter. Man, I miss my mom so much. Well, I knew your mother better than anyone. I could tell you stories. Well, it's 4 o'clock. I'm off to bed. Yeah, and maybe she can be my new mom. You know, just like Greg Evigan and Paul Reiser were briefly my two dads. Peter, thank you so much for your help in making this cake. I bake with my mom. I always stood on a chair. All the best memories are family memories. What newspaper do cows read? That's very clever, Peter. Did you make that up? God, you know, Evelyn, you've really helped me through a tough time. Excuse me, how do I get back through the looking glass? Oh, yeah. Take two lefts, and it's the first door on your right. I, I asked that guy over there, but he just told me a bunch of rhyming nonsense. We now return to ST, the special terrestrial. Hey, guys, this is Evelyn. She's the one with that bathroom carpet I've been peeing on I told you about. Hey, nice to meet you. You know, instead of drawing on your eyebrows, maybe just go without eyebrows. Evelyn, tell them how many sodas I combined at the movie theater. Two. It was more than that. She fell asleep. Yeah, I just remembered I gotta get the hell out of here. Well, God said I could walk just one time. I was saving it for Susie's wedding. Your friends seem lovely. Ah, they are. You know, Evelyn, I'm having such a good time with you. Mm. Mm. Bonnie, are you molesting me or watching TV? I can't believe that old woman kissed you. She was like a mom to me. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. Evelyn, we need to talk. Oh, Peter, I owe you an apology. I'm afraid my new medicine made me act foolishly yesterday. Well, I guess I can understand that. You know, I'm addicted to nasal spray. I smell everything! I'm invincible! <laughs> Evelyn, I think it's best that we don't see each other anymore. But, Peter... No, Evelyn, I trusted you, and all this funny business keeps happening, and I don't think it's your medicine at all. You tricked me. You're as bad as those predators on the Internet. Hey, Mom, I, I gotta talk to you about something. You know, ever since you turned into a rock with your name on it... Peter, I want to apologize. I did behave inappropriately. 
It's just that since my beloved Walter died, you're the first man who's paid any attention to me. My mom so much, and I guess maybe I sort of used you as a replacement. I'm glad we became friends, Evelyn. <gasps> Evelyn? Evelyn? It looks like somebody's mom died or, or something. I don't know. You, you, this, you, you'll take care of this, right? 